Hello everybody, my name's Carrie Willow, and that's K-A-R-R-I-E-W-I-L-L-O-W capital E. Welcome to another video where the only thing consistent about me actually happens to be my intro. There you go. More specifically, welcome to another speed draw, where I draw Pokemon with the items I named them after in my first slash current playthrough of Pokemon Leaf Green. I remembered the name this time. Heck yes. Technically, my first playthrough ever. Since I was, well, there is no was, um, since I am a little late to the ball game, I didn't really play it as a kid, so. Yeah, I missed out on that. But here it is! The fabled, the elusive, the, honestly, for most, probably imaginary, putting the Pidgey video that you all have been waiting for for the last couple of months. As to why it took me this long, I, I sort of forgot about it. <laughs> oh gosh. I sort of forgot about it until a friendly fan decided to remind me kindly today, actually, on Twitter. He's like, hey, you're forgetting something. <laughs> Thank you for that, by the way. Unfortunately, it has been a rather rough it has been a rather rough week, but I'm hoping that this newer drive of creativity will pull through with some more interesting content. Maybe something different to speed draws. You never know. But I should while I'm here, I should probably also leave a disclaimer. All of the art in this video does belong to me, including the ink sketch. I'm still rather new to digital art, so I draw the things I want to record beforehand on paper and then take a photo so I may trace over it for more precision and better results. I think it's significantly better than just like letting you guys watch me for over 20 minutes of a video and struggle or and just fail dramatically. It, I don't want to waste anyone's time. <laughs> I'm really good at that. Um, but. Oh boy, so I think it's it's easier that way. I do not condone tracing anyone's work, especially to make a profit because that is their work and they probably put a lot of thought and effort into it, blood, sweat, and tears, all that jazz. So don't do that, it's bad. That's not what I'm doing here, I'm using my own stuff. That's basically what this is about. But also like, the music. That however is not mine, that does not belong to me. So go ahead and make sure you look in the description down below for the author or the artist that I credit and go check out their stuff because I think it's wonderful. I think it's great. With all that out of the way, let us get started with the video. So okay, one of the first things I want to talk about, because I'm trying to stick to some semblance of a script, is the inking and tracean portion of this particular video. Usually since I draw the pictures out first, like I said earlier, uh, before plopping them into Krita, I try to place almost everything. I try- place? Why did I say place? I try to trace everything almost exactly right, or exactly to the line with the initial sketch because, you know, I took the time to do it and that's just how it is. But that- there was an issue with this very particular drawing because Pidgeys are wonderful. It was fun to draw the Pidgey, but the pudding is freaking evil. Getting the consistency just right is not easy, and unfortunately, even with the retrace, even after I didn't even follow the lines all the way, I, I kind of failed. <laughs> I think I could have done be better. Remember how I was delaying the Rattata video because I was scared of like the fur shading and all of that and the textures and stuff? I really think at this point, the textures happen to be my enemy when it comes to digital art. That's gonna suck. It's also not like I can be hyper exact with everything due to my setup. So shading and like the difference in lines, thickness, thinness, the value that a lot of people can get with their stuff, I cannot do. So that's probably going to be a continuing issue within my drawings the more complicated I draw them. Shouldn't have done an entire <laughs> bowl of pudding. I didn't even bother making the feathers look realistic because well I don't really know how and I think hyper realistic feathers would look a little weird on this Pidgey in particular because I draw in a more cartoony style. Very cute though, I think I did a good job with her. I think I did a good job. Uh, you know, at this point I'm kind of starting to feel like these videos are just really sad documentaries of both my failures to create adequate content and my endless list of complaints, slash constant complaining. It's like I'll never be satisfied and never am satisfied. But uh, that's right folks, listen to me complain. You're here for my suffering and the chaos anyways, so at least in that category I'll never fall short trying to get back on track. I did actually enjoy this experience, this Pidgey experience. It's it's not all complaints. I promise. It's not all complaints. But like in the last drawing, I did try to give Little Miss Pudding an appropriate expression, fitting what her personality seems to be in the game for me. 
I actually do not know if all the Pokemon have the same personality, like say every Pidgey has the same personality, or every Bulbasaur or whatever, I don't know. But for this one I had, I'm, I'm still new and stupid, but for this one I had, her personality was supposed to be adamant. So in order to portray that, I figured I'd make her look really pissed off and set on the task of escaping her sticky pudding prison. Uh, all, do I, by the way, do not put birds or any other animal within food. They will not like it. It is mean. I am evil. Just saying. And this is a drawing, so it's, it's fine. I hope that I was at least somewhat successful in that, though. Like, portraying her emotions and stuff, and she kind of- She just looks confused. <laughs> Sad. Um, the tracing's straightforward. The coloring is a whole different thing. What I generally do is- I learned that if I try coloring on the same layer as I do the inking and stuff, I'm gonna suffer, so I actually put it in the layer below and then trace little lines with the colors I choose or the colors I pull, because I usually use the stock images and then pull the colors from there because I want to get it as accurate as possible. So I'll usually do that and then what you'll witness is me doing a bunch of like little, I'll do a bunch of lines and stuff and I'll like fill it in with the tool and I think it'd just be a lot more quicker. I could take the time to like draw it all in but that's not really gonna work for me <laughs> because I, I it already took me like three hours to record this not even the audio I can't even express how long this took me or is taking me to do the audio because I decided to do something different I attempted a script and right now I'm kind of off script so like what was the point of doing the script but here we are I wanted to um, also like right here you see me doing a bunch of detailing, and the coloring itself was actually a balance thing. There's a whole balance thing I was supposed to read off, but I didn't read off, so here we are. Screw the script. It was worth a shot. But I wanted to add little Pokemon balls into, like, the whole little, like, detailing and stuff, and because I noticed how it was off-centered. The chocolate chips, not the chocolate. Actually, yeah, the chocolate chips, the chocolate shreddings, the white chocolate shreddings from earlier, I figured that they looked a little off balance with the bowl itself. There was a lot of space, so I was like, do do do, let's do some doodles. I do not know how to do like a, an endless pattern tool. Like there are, pr I'm pretty sure there are some endless pattern tools that a lot of people can use, but that's not what I ended up doing. Obviously you saw me just draw them all by hand, but I think it looks really nice and I think it pulls the thing together I'm actually proud of that and the coloring as well I pulled the colors themselves from the actual stock image of a Pidgey, which I will link down in the description below and This pink bowl color which looks very similar to the beak and it's not the same is literally the tongue I, I, I realized my Pidgey doesn't have a tongue. So there was no point in pulling it anyway. So that's kind of what I did yeah, that's kind of just what it was and I figured it'd be easier to do it that way instead of just coming up with a whole new color because finding balance in these things is kind of hard. I kind of regret not being able to find a good color balance with everything. I think I made it work. I think I did good. I definitely agree that adding the details and stuff was nice. But I mean, even if you add the details when it comes to shading like I'm doing right here, it's, it's, shading is one of those things. Just one of those things that I do not enjoy. I add another layer to make it easier because I can actually mess with the opacity you'll see in the little meter to your right. I can mess with the opacity and make it significantly easier to deal with, but it's just... <sighs> I didn't try adding detail to the wings. I tried adding some detail to the pudding, but like... How the frick does one do pudding? Is pudding even sticky? Why did I do sticky stuff? Why is it coating? Does it actually look right? Does it? I don't know. Before I even colored this, fun fact, it looked like a freaking bowl of liquid mashed potatoes. That's what I dislike. Cause like the little chocolate bits, those did not look like chocolate. They looked like cut chives and I felt so bad. And that's another reason I didn't necessarily want to do this video because I was like, oh, haha, -ha, everyone's gonna think it looks like freaking mashed potatoes with a weird swirly thing because apparently you want your mashed potatoes to be fancy. Ho oh, ho, fancy mashed potatoes? I don't freaking think so. But I think I made the balancing work. I think I did it good. I think I did it good. Completely off script. Screw the script. But layers are great. Layers are wonderful. And it's nice that I get to change the opacity. It kind of does suck a little bit because if I want to smoosh them all into one image and stuff, I can't really do that because, or I don't think I can, because if I smoosh them all, but that thing's in its different opacity level, then it might just go back to the 100%, which is just way too much shadow. I like how I can modify the shadow. I picked up that trick somewhere. I don't know where I picked it up, but I, I picked it up somewhere and it works. 
But other than the shading, one of the hardest things to do for me is freaking highlighting. I don't, I do not like it. Highlighting is not my favorite thing because, oh my goodness. For everything you do, highlights and lighting have to be different. Like for the noodles, it's gonna be completely different. Like the noodles in the very first video I did, go ahead and watch it if you like. But the first very video I did, the noodles and the way of highlighting those and adding like shine is significantly different than attempting to add shine here. Like that looks way too cluttered right there and that little drip thing. That just looks way bad. I also learned that you have to put the highlight layer above the shadows, but below the ink or else it's gonna make the colors look strange. I messed with a couple brushes here because I didn't necessarily know what to do. Like, it's great that I get to learn things and try new things each and every time, but it's kind of frustrating. And I don't really wanna explain how long it actually took me to do the highlighting and the shading all together, along with the background. The background, I think, is the thing that disappoints me the most when it comes to this video. It's it's not the greatest, but oof. Like, highlighting noodles or adding like shine and stuff to noodles is completely different than adding shine to freaking blobs of pudding. I had to look up a reference, and let me just say, the reference, I'm not surprised it was hard. I thought it would be like one of the easiest things because it's shiny, but nope. it's. Hard. You actually have to add a lot of volume into your lighting and stuff, and I do not know how to do that yet. So I'm just a baby YouTuber. I'm just a baby digital artist, okay? <laughs> I know nothing. I never said I knew anything, but oh boy, it's not the greatest thing. But after struggling for a bit, I did kind of get it just, it kind of just looks more like I powdered the pudding in like this soft like powdered sugar and stuff which I do not hate actually I kind of like it and I think it looks pretty okay I didn't bother putting any highlights on the bowl because I, it's it doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> and I didn't bother putting highlights on the bird as well because it's not like the bird has any really shiny pieces this Pidgey is just a Pidgey it's pretty much of a matte creature but eventually when I got it to something the way I liked it I decided to attempt with the background. With the backgrounds, what I want to do generally is make it kind of themed. I did not do it for the cheese video, and I kind of wish that I didn't do it for this video, because making this themed to be pudding, this is what I hate the most. Circling my mouse over it, you can't even see it, but this is the part I hate the most. I made the drips look cool, but the freaking, again, with the highlighting, the highlighting adding depth to pudding on a wall is hard because there's a lot more shadows and values than you think there would be, but then you add too many shadows or values and you're like, well, heck me, I guess then. I guess I'm screwed. Like, look at that. I only had a couple of, another thing I regret other than like the lighting and stuff and the way I did the shines is how like, there's not a lot of variety in colors and stuff, and I did manage to pull it together with the pink, I think. I think that was a good thing. And the fact that I added a little bit of red hue to that other type of pudding that is on the right of the background. R.I.P. Look at me just try smudging things. R.I.P. Past me. It's okay. The suffering ends soon, I promise. Um, yeah, but other than those two things, I, I could have done butterscotch. I didn't even think about butterscotch until now, but... I only knew so many flavors, like there's chocolate, there's vanilla, and then there's whatever the heck that flavor is. I'm just gonna go with red velvet. Is red velvet pudding a thing? Is that a thing? I'm traumatized. I don't think red velvet pudding is a thing, and I'm traumatized. Oh my goodness. But I, I did kind of find something that worked pretty well. It's a whole process. Hopefully the next video I put out will be done a lot quicker and a lot better, but yeah, I blurred the background a bit made it work and I finished it up with the coloring stage done yeah with the shading the coloring and everything done it's a whole thing my god thank you for watching do not forget to check the description down below so you can be part of the decision process I forgot to talk about the decision process. I'm looking at my notes again. I completely forgot to talk about the decision process. This is the last Pokemon of the three Pokemon I have drawn. So yeah, that's a thing. So what I'm thinking is because I still have a bunch of other Pokemon that I have not sketched out yet, you guys could choose which Pokemon named after a food I do next. 
I'm going to make a list in the description down below. Make sure you check it out and pick which Pokemon you think would be interesting for the next video that I want to do. And I'll work on a sketch. I'll do the whole thing. I might even record the sketch. Probably not. Do not expect too much of me. We already know what happens when that happens. But yeah, be sure you look in the description down below. Make sure you comment which one you think is good. Make sure you comment. And since you're down there, you might as well check out the artist. And since you're down there, you also might as well check out, let's see, uh, my Twitter and Instagram for art stuffs, finished products from these videos, and maybe even some weird thoughts or comments I have, assuming that I get my stuff together, which I probably won't, but it's it's worth a shot. If you want to check it out, go ahead, check it out. Do whatever you want. You guys are your own, your own people, but I don't really know how to do these exit cards. It's just kind of a thing. I'm not really surprised that I haven't come up with a proper outro because I've only made a couple videos despite it being over a year that I've actually started the YouTube. It's like, oh, it's, it's a 2020 thing. It's a practice thing. But no, it takes me this long and I never actually do things and I'm dormant. And that's one of the reasons I don't actually make any progress. It's because I don't do anything. I'd like to start doing things more. I want to start doing things more. I think it'd be fun and it'd probably get me out of this depressive funk that I'm in. But with all that, depressing sad stuff aside I, I, I guess I gotta end the video um I hope you have a wonderful day enjoy the reel if it's still going <laughs> and um I'll see you guys later make sure you check all the things do all the things if you want to subscribe I don't I don't really care <laughs> do what you want <laughs> like the video that'd be cool let me know if I need to do anything new change anything yada yada <laughs> What is this? What am I doing? Okay, uh, bye! I hope you have a nice day! See ya! Peace. I like so much for structure.